啦啦。Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Prison Architect. I'm Blala, and here we are in Le Corp Jail. You can see finally the soul levels are going down. It's this eating time. This is how good this canteen is, right? They come in here and they can just deal with so many needs that this just plummets, you know. But boy, is it getting really heated prior to getting to the first. Meal time of the day. Asking them to wait this long <laughs> is is a it seems to be a tall ask. However, visitations are going. Looks like we had a bit of a punch up here. Didn't see that. Missed it. Damn. That was probably when they were talking to that lawyer, was it? <laughs> mm. Well, this is why we have people patrolling and whatnot. But families are coming in. Look, lots of families. They are seeing their loved ones, so we should see the the family need going down it is ever so slowly going down this this takes time doesn't it just takes time just takes time let's look at the grants so um let's have a look assign three prisoners to work in the laundry kitchen and cleaning cupboard so we're going to take that we might actually look straight away got it see we'd already dealt with that look 20 grand 20 grand now this inmate nutrition research will start a riot in the prison it absolutely will start a riot in the prison guaranteed so and it can also come up as um an event in the prison where you're actually told by the government to put them on a single low quality low variety meal for two days that is the time that i will take that grant so that we can do two birds with one stone um because it will cause a riot so we'll need the money um not ready for the reform programs or anything like that. I'm simply not ready for them. What's this one here? Um, produce 30 license plates. We we can't do that. We don't have the um, we don't have the uh, work workshop. So for now, we're just going to take this short term investment. I think we'll take that. That will bring us in 16 grand. Salt levels are rising again <laughs> during free time. Do you see what I mean? Free time is not is not amazing. Free time is not amazing they start getting angry with that as well so they can do whatever they want and they're kicking off that's what they're doing so i think we're going to be largely managing during uh, this episode just trying to prevent this um from absolutely kicking off oh somebody's just uh, been released who was it who was it oh hang on note pay note notebook page cell data Ooh, that is a new one too. Fantastic. Fantastic. I love finding those. Um, so somebody has just been released. Where are they? Can we see them leaving? We just got three grand for early release. I don't know where they are, but I I'm really pleased that we've managed to get rid of one of them. <laughs> and get money in the process. So we really need to be sorting out our utilities though in here, don't we? Because uh, this is crazy. We still need to swap these rooms around and get all this working so i took out the pool oh my god that was so the wrong button wasn't it i took out the pool table because it just so happened that the pool table was sitting exactly where i wanted to put a radiator yes yes it was here so we can put the pool table there now that's, that's where we'll stick stick that there we go so how many family cells do we have we have one two three four five six one two three four five six so we need to change all these here to family cells that's what we need to do let's change them all to family cells and then move the uh dormitories to these outer outer ones because it's the showers you see the showers are the problems so this is going to get messy we're not going to have proper proper cells and then they're probably going to end up in the holding cell is there anybody in the holding cell i doubt it but we should just probably have a quick look. Shall we? If we're expecting people to end up in here, maybe we should. No, see, the holding cell is empty. Maybe we should, because we're going to be having overflows and issues and whatnot. Should we put... Oh, no, look how problematic it is to get water down here. Oh, I can't be bothered with it. <laughs> I just can't be bothered with it. We're going to have to... Uh, 
ride the wave, I think. Um, let's start by moving these two family cells up into here. We're just, we're just going to do this. We are going to dismantle. Um, dismantle. Yep. Going to dismantle this. This is going to upset a lot of people. We're going to dismantle... Um, uh, the tab to cycle through drain dismantle okay dismantle this drain and the shower head so we're going to leave the toilets in there let's swap the rooms over straight away actually so we'll say these are going to be family cells these are going to be dormitories um right right should we leave i'll probably leave the radios in there i think we'll get radios everywhere yeah we'll leave the radios do you know i've not checked on the snitch in a little while should probably do that put those radios in there so where is our snitch do we have any more that we know about i'm not ready for informants our oh, snitches over there. Doesn't look like we have any new ones that we're aware of, at least, anyway. There she is. There she is. And she is still on... 129 hours of lockdown. She's not going anywhere on parole, that's for sure. Look at her giggling. Evil giggle. I want her in this room. Pop her in there. Right, okay, so objects there we go and drains because family rooms need showers while we're at it the hot water pipes for this area um, actually what's going on with the cold water pipes for this area There, that needs to go in there Right, then hot water. Hot water for the showers, because all these are going to have showers. They are. So, to there. But not those back rooms. Not those back rooms. So there we go. There we go, get those in. Bit by bit, bit by bit. Now, objects. Swapping those rooms over. There's no tunnel over here. That's definitely a false positive. There's no tunnel there. I don't believe it for a second. <laughs> I don't believe that for a second. Don't believe it. Right. Wait for these rooms to get swapped over and these utilities to go into place. Ah, time for that nighttime search. So basically, we spend the entire day in really high danger levels, um, but at night time they go to sleep, <laughs> um, and then everything is okay. So we're going to do our usual search. Can we see here hygiene? So what I've done, I did actually put. Change this lock up to free time. And they got nothing done in that time. Like free time, I don't know. It just doesn't seem to have the desired effect as far as I can tell. Uh, maybe just one hour isn't enough free time um, as, as a chunk. Um, but like I say, I don't like to change the re regime too much too quickly. Um, but yeah, they need to sort out their hygiene more. The family thing is still really high. Now, we've only got three families waiting to visit at the moment. They also have telephones in the yard. So they are free to contact their family a lot. The only thing really that's not in place, as far as I'm aware, is mail. Um, we don't have the mail system going at the moment. But that shouldn't affect having the other two in place, like being able to physically see them and stuff, I wouldn't have thought mail alone would cause this sort of level of of issue. Um, freedom, I'm trying to up the freedom, so we'll see how that goes. Clothing though, you can see clothing is slowly, and it is slow. It's painstakingly slow, is coming down. Very, very, 
there, 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 slowly. So we are still just sort of swapping rooms around. It's night time now, so you know, while it's night time, I'm not swapping rooms around. We'll just uh, let them let them get on with things. Um, so our power is looking pretty neat here. We are working on the hot water situation. We are separating hot water showers from the radiators. That's what we're doing. Um, so we're disconnecting these showers because these family rooms are going to be coming down into here. And we've put, what we've done is a bit early in dormitories, we've put in showers. So we're a bit ahead of the game there. Bit, a, bit ahead of the game. So you can see here that we have a hot water pipe coming from here and it goes to those radiators, it comes down here and will also um, do the these two radiators as well um, and doesn't do any showers at all. Then this boiler is doing the showers. We've got, look, we've got an issue over here where it's not quite reaching um, and look at this. That's going to annoy me. So we're gonna have to take that out, which means we'll have to put in another cold water pipe to sort that out. Look, this has come out. Let's pop that in. So we're still sort of jigging. <laughs> still sort of having a jig here. But you can see that it is getting neater. It is getting tidier. Um, and sort of functioning. It's a shame that we needed a second lot at the back. Simply because this stuff doesn't reach. It just doesn't reach. I mean, we can see here. That we've got... This takes ages to fill in. You know, for, for water to reach. But there we are. At least it does. And it means that... In the summer, when it's really, really hot, we can come back here and we can turn this valve pipe off, and it will turn in. It will turn the radiators off, and then they shouldn't overheat. So, I mean, that's that's the point in doing it, and uh, I think I think it's a good thing. This is, pipe's gone one too far. That's going to cut off the power. I don't care. It bothers me that it's gone too far. Look, it's the same up here. It's gone too far. Don't want it there. Don't want it there. So there we are. Um, what we can do is start demolishing these items during the night as well um, in these family cells. Look, demolish objects. We can demolish these. Don't want them. They can go. Lovely. Lovely. Bit by bit. So tomorrow when they all get up and they start being all salty about the billions of issues that they seem to have, we will change all these here to family cells and change these. Uh, oh no, those family cells are gone. So yes, so change these to dormitories and these to family cells. I'm going to try and get all that done in one day. Won't that be interesting? <laughs> so here we go. They're all about to get up. Shall we see how this day works? <laughs> So, what I'm aware of at the moment, toilet, look at the food first thing in the morning, the hygiene, you know, it's all really, really high. So, straight away, we've got a bunch of them jumping on their toilets, but they're also into shower time. It is shower time on the regime. So, straight into the showers. Look at them. Oh, look, even Nancy, straight to the toilets, all the toilets full straight away. So, we can see that this... This shower time and space is actually really starting to work with us. It's not looking quite as messy now as it once was. This, this is sort of a calmer time, right? This is, uh, this is, we, we like this, right? This, this, this is better. I would say that this is, this is starting to work. What possibly isn't working um, on the regime is that maybe we should consider moving food to a breakfast time. So this would be the time to send them to the yard and then to eat. Then we have work time in the day, then a bit of free time before dinner. It's probably going to end up something like that maybe. So there's only sort of one work period um, and that's after they've sorted out food and exercise and they've had extra time to look at their hygiene. You know, all that time that they spend in here, like the canteen really does bring down all their sort of issues you know and their recreation and stuff like that you know it's really good I mean they're bringing down their recreation right now because there's a radio in here so that that's working quite nicely um so 
I can't do the food thing now though because they've not spent the night cooking so that would have to wait that change until tomorrow um, but I'm thinking it's a good idea to actually move food to breakfast time because man are they hungry first thing in the morning you know and not only does it sort out hunger but it sorts out so many other things as well so immediately we go you know free time salt levels are rising on a colossal scale it's just i'm not happy with it and the regime is an issue um it is an issue mind you families are coming in are they families arriving because it says oh no they're probably on the phone in the yard are they all running to the phones yeah look they are all running to the phones, so that's good. And more of them can be on the phone at any given time, which is great. Look. Yeah. The phones are very popular. We may even have to consider putting more phones in. Very, very popular. Mind you, 8 seems to do quite well. It does seem to do quite well. And the exercise thing. Yeah, so I think taking advantage of the yard and the canteen first thing in the morning is going to be a really smart thing to do we may look at doing that tomorrow for now let's change all these rooms around do you know what i've just noticed <laughs> i'm feeling like really stupid now really stupid but look at this freedom issue going up and up and up all the time all of these are waiting for solitary they're all waiting for solitary right 32 prisoners are shackled in their cells are, or are in solitary. Are they not using this this solitary cell? Like, why, why are they not just, like, dealing with this? So they must be getting hungry too, right? Like, are they, they're probably not even getting fed. We've got a solitary cell. I think what we're going to have to do... Um, policy what's attacked staff i think for now this is all going to have to be locked down because we don't have solitary we've got a problem here so what i'm going to start doing so i've arranged for one to be escorted to solitary i'm going to start doing them manually and start working through this backlog of 30 odd prisoners oh man that's not good at all i mean this is no wonder we've got issues here no wonder we have issues um we are now just popping in. Oh, Nancy was hurt. She's supposed to be in solitary, look. Yeah. So this will help the freedom thing. If I slowly process... They're too in solitary. If I slowly process these... <gasps> because she's supposed to be in solitary for 41 hours. That's where the backlog is. 41 hours? Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's build some solitary. Um, what am I doing? Just clicking around all the menus. Not really thinking about anything that I'm doing. So here we go. Solitary cell. It has a toilet in it. I don't want toilets. In, in my, no. No, 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 no. Right. So she is a backlog. Because she has to be in solitary for 40 something crazy hours. It, the rest of them aren't getting the benefit of solitary. That's what the issue is. I can't believe it. Right. That's it's it's a big issue. I'm pleased I've caught it. Let's get this built. So here we are. I've put in three solitary cells. This lady, she's still got 33 hours <laughs> to serve. What the hell does she do? Attacked prisoner and serious injury. I she must have done it lots of times cuz man, that's a lot of solitary. I don't think I've given anybody lots of solitary or maybe I gave her lots of solitary and error instead of um, like lock up time. Perhaps I did that. Um, something I might discover when I go back over the footage because I do record in bulk. So, you know, I've not seen this solitary issue until now. It's possible that I'll have lots of comments about it. Um, but I did discover it on my own in the end. Woohoo! <laughs> so, what I found is that they were all shackled to their cells. They, look, a whole bunch of them still are. So what we're doing is we're filtering through these prisoners. Like The guards are slowly, look, Nancy Phillips is in there, slowly putting them into solitary, letting them serve it, and then they're free. And 
But that means that they're able to deal with all their needs, like family and their freedom will start, you know, occurring because they're not shackled to their cells, you know. Um, they get a bit of privacy in here and they can exercise, they can do their hygiene. These girls have been shackled up for days and days and days and I didn't even notice. So that was sort of the root the main route I think for a lot of the problems that I've been experiencing all week with this game um, so the last sort of what three or four episodes has been this solitary issue which I just didn't notice how frustrating all, all good though because it has been discovered and it is now being dealt with and these levels these salt levels are not rising anywhere near as high as they were and hopefully once they have all been processed through solitary this will be even better I'm really excited about that we have managed to change all these to family cells these two are still going in they're not quite there yet we've had to change this room around because of the hot water pipe here for the heating if i put the shower here then it means that in the summer, this room, the shower would be cold water only, which is no good. So what I've had to do is transpose the room. And I've put the shower on the opposite side, and it's got no toilet. <laughs> so let's also... Oops, wrong button. Let's uh, plop that in as well. Um, and there is water that will go to it. So we've just put in the hot water pipe here. Give that a bit of time, and it will fill that up. And um, and then we've got our family cells. I had to. I was I was going to keep these as dormitories, but I discovered that I was one parent cell short. So I've made all of these parent cells now, and all of these are dormitories. Um, so we shall allow these silly ladies to be processed through solitary, and and just let it run, and hopefully. At the main bulk of the problems that we've been experiencing here will be resolved. If not, <clears throat> we shall look at the regime because it might be... I mean, this this sort of pattern has worked for me so many times. But I guess the game's always changing. It has been a long time since I've played it. So it, it could be that now we need one solid work time. I mean, I seem to remember that minimum and sort of normal security could do sort of quite a lot of work in the day. And be okay with it maximum security not so much like you couldn't make them work for very long before they started kicking off well you know maybe um, normal security are a little problematic as well in the respect that they're not going to work as long as minimum security so there we are um, it could be that I'm going to like this is good for minimum security but not good for normal so it's probably going to be that I will shift this to breakfast time we'll have a, a stretch of work hours in the day probably around four hours so that'll take off two hours work time um, but we'll see how it goes because at the moment you know it's higher than I'd like it to be but it's not outrageous I mean we still have 26 prisoners shackled in their cells waiting to be processed through solitary so you never know once i mean look at them look at these stupid ladies look totally suppressed and look at all the needs a massive list of needs once they are free they will be able to deal with all these needs and it will help the needs overall in a major way i would i would i would think you know, I, I would think so. So, pretty pleased I discovered that issue when I did because it was becoming a real struggle. I kid you not. <laughs> it was a real struggle. Um, you know, and I was starting to notice. I was thinking, why is there hardly anybody in the canteen at dinner time? Like, why is nobody going to the canteen to eat? Now I know. Look at this. Someone peed all over the radiator. Why? What? Of all the places to take piss, why not just sit on the bench and and wait yourself why do it over the radiator you know because then like the wee gets on the radiator then the radiator's turned on because it's cold out and then the whole canteen smells of piss mm, <laughs> mixed in with probably dodgy food you know like in hospitals you get like that sort of over cooked cabbage smell yep mix that in with nice hot urine <laughs> and that's the stench of their canteen mm -mm -mm. <laughs> lovely right well i think that probably 
is it uh, for this episode. I mean, you know, we've done well this week. We've got parole going. We've got the visitation centre going. I mean, look, eight prisoners are up for parole. That's not bad. And we have quite a lot of parole sessions uh, in the regime. No, in programmes. Look at all these paroles that I have. There's eight in the queue. I can process eight in one day. So there we go. It's totally fine. Two have passed. <laughs> Only two have been released out of... There was a lot, wasn't it? There was quite a lot of prisoners up for parole. I've released two. And that's because... Um, in my policy, look... If their reoffending rate is 10% or less, I will release them. If it's any higher, I won't. I'm a real hard nut. So, there we go. That's why only two have been released. Um, so far, we have had some more name in the games recommended we'll look at those next time um there was a, actually there was actually a bunch of names um that weren't in the game uh we were asked for jane uh there are no janes there are no louise in the game uh there's no rita's there's no gertrude's it's a real shame i like the name gertrude it's it's an odd one <laughs> it's an interesting name no gertrude's at all it makes me a little bit sad but there are a couple of others that are in the game that have been requested so we will get those in next time until then bye, bye.